just just a reminder to Tahala News at KT News. Let us know what is happening around you. Now on to cross over to Uganda where the election primaries for the ruling National Resistance Movement Party NRM are postponed to tomorrow following the bloody skirmishes on the first day of the polls. Police used tear gas to disperse um, party members who protested against the postponement in different parts of the country. KTN's Solomon Sarwanja reports from Kampala. Chaotic scenes like these characterized most of the day in different constituencies as Uganda's ruling party, the National Resistance Movement, postponed their national primaries to Tuesday. Protests broke out in Sembabule district located in central Uganda as party supporters challenged the decision to have the election date postponed. Police used rubber bullets and tear gas to disperse the crowd, which left at least two people injured. According to the party electoral commission chairperson, Dr. Tango Doi, the postponement was due to the delays in dispatching the election equipment, including ballot papers. Delivering materials in 112 outer districts and one, five districts of Kampala is mayhem. You cannot do it within a, a shortfall. The party electoral commission chairman also accused the top minister in Museveni's government for allegedly masterminding election malpractices. We have every credible evidence that the Honorable Nantaba, the Minister of State for Lands, planned day in, day out to rig this election and to tamper with the ballot papers. He also alleges an elaborate plan to steal the vote. Some lady had printed a so-called ballot paper of NRM and good enough one of our NRM fraternity people from the diaspora, a lady, got wind of it when she was there and went to, to, to arrest them. Early in the morning, while the electoral body was still putting its house in order, Kampala woke up to these scenes. Posters pinned up by a group of youth who identified themselves as the Red Tops. They are demanding electoral reforms before the...